Red Feather from Grepax. In this Crita video, we will be showing you how to fade text in or out using the curved animation function of Crita. Open Crita, create a new canvas, and if you'd like to work along with me, pause this video and create two sets of texts you would like to use and choose a Krita background color and place it on your paint layer. Once this is done in Krita, notice my timeline. It is almost as if I have two, but notice the one on the right is the Krita Animation Curved Function window. In order to get this Krita function to appear, go to Settings, scroll down to Dockers, then scroll down to Curved Animation and put a check mark in the box. Once this is done in Krita, go to Layers, highlight the vector layer of the text you would like to use first. Then shut off the eyelet to the second layer of text. Go to the Krita animation window and click the maximize button. This will free the window and allow you to move it around. Adjust the size of the window to a bit larger size. Now, let us add our first opacity keyframe. In order to do this in Krita, go to the Add Keyframe drop-down list and click, then click on Add Opacity Keyframe. Now notice, in the Krita Curved Animation window, there is a red dot. This is our opacity keyframe. Now, since we have added our first opacity keyframe, we can now add them from the curved animation window. So, on our credit timeline, let's click on frame 24. And in the curved animation window, click add keyframe. Notice there are two dot red dots with a connected line. Keep in mind that at the moment, the text is at 100% opacity. In this window, Krita labels it as 250. We have our distance set. Now we need to add another keyframe. On the Krita timeline, Highlight keyframe 12. Then, in the curved animation window, click Add Keyframe. So let me adjust the size of the Krita Curved animation window once more so as to see zero opacity. Once this is done in Krita, in the curved animation window, Grab the first keyframe, moving it down to zero. This will be our fade in. Then go to the last opacity keyframe, moving it to zero. As well. This will be our fade out. Now, if we give it a playback, we can see how our Krita text is functioning. Once this is done in Krita, go to Layers, show off the eyelet to the text we were just working with, highlight the next layer to be adjusted, and turn its eyelet on. Notice in the curved animation window, there are no keyframes yet. So let us add a 
credit opacity keyframe. Also notice, I casually placed the credit opacity keyframe on frame 12 of my timeline. But we must keep in mind, each layer on the timeline starts at frame zero. So let's move the opacity keyframe to frame zero and place it at the zero opacity marker. And let us add another Krita opacity keyframe to frame 24. Now at the bottom of the Krita curved animation window, use the scroll bar so as to see further and on the timeline highlight frame 36. Then add another opacity keyframe. Grab the Krita opacity keyframe you just placed raising it to 100% opacity, which is 250 within the curved animation window or graph, if you will. Do not merge uh, these critter layers, just render away into a MP4 format. That's the format you would like. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The intro and outro of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out. <laughs>